Hello guys, I am super excited to show you the new Ori GR 2019 that is about to be released tomorrow. The pre-order starts and I think this is the biggest jump ever done in HDR. So I'm going to take three photos. I'm opening them up in the new HDR 2019. The main thing that they did is they worked for like two years trying to get more natural result, less halos, less artifacts that a lot of HDR software have, including Ori GR. So here is a three bracketed shot, you know, minus two, zero, and plus two. I'm going to click on auto alignment and create an HDR. And uh, they have a new way to really analyze the image to just make your HDR better, especially if you do prints, you just get a better quality. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I'm going to be using my looks. So preset are not called looks. And if you click up here, you can see that you have different categories of looks. Uh, you have Trey Radcliffe, Serge Remily, and Randy Van Duen looks. I'm going to use the Serge Remily looks. I don't know why. Maybe because I am Serge Remily. Yes, I am totally a partner of this software. I've been, you know, helping to develop in terms of feedback and things that I want to improve. And I create a whole series of new looks that you can use. I'm going to start with a start here. And Right away, I just used the basic, basic looks that I created. You can see the before and after. It's already pretty awesome. The, the details and there's really no hollow. I mean, I'm really amazed and also it's much faster. So on this photo, this was actually like a golden hour. So I think I'm going to go to um, shade. Uh, yeah, maybe not or well, shade and bring down the highlights to see if we can get some uh, things, you know, some color back in the sky. Or, you know what, I think I'm going to go to daylight. I want a daylight and just maybe add a little bit of magenta. I think I like that more. And then what I usually do is, because and that's what I love about Aurora, is I can work with layers. Okay. Um, I love, uh, there's a few things. So, you know, the start here already did a lot of it. I mean, check it out, before and after. You know, I hardly started the photo. And, you know, if you zoom in at 100%, you'll see you don't have like hellos. It's just much better, much better uh, uh, quality of HDR, and uh, and it's uh, it's really really cool. I love the result. You know, when I use Aurora HDR and I post a photo on social media, I this is usually where I get the most views every time. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, that being said, um, I want to show you. Uh, color contrast is a good one. I love color contrast. It really brings out colors that were not there. So I'm going to add a bit of color contrast. And then I want to do a different retouching. So one thing they have, they added now is LUTs. And you can go through if you want to add a LUT. And, uh, you know, a LUT is something that's going to completely alter the color of your photo. Completely change it, you know. And you can download LUTs if you want to actually have to send a lot of notes. A glorious could work on this photo. Noble, but on this one, I'm not gonna add a lot at all. I'm just gonna do it the good old way. Uh, polarizing filter, you see on my basic, I use it because I really want to get some blue back in the sky. Um, and I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna crop this image. So I'm gonna go here, crop, and I'm gonna crop it 16 by nine. 16 by nine is what I, I sell with galleries. So I think this is gonna be good. Press done. Okay, and then I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. And on this adjustment layer, I'm going to use my new look called HDR Booster. It's going to be crazy at first. This is my most crazy, crazy, but I don't want to do it everywhere. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush, a little brush. I'm going to make sure the opacity is really low, like 30%. And I'm going to start painting just, I just want to get some of the trees to come back to life. And some of the colors here. So I'm just painting on some of the trees and, and a bit of on El Capitan to just get some of the colors back. And if you think it's too much, I'm painting at 30%. You can always lower, you know, and that's a great thing because it works like Photoshop. You can lower the opacity of that adjustment to keep it natural. Okay, the other thing is I want to get some pink back in the sky. So I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. And this time I'm going to use the sunset preset, which on this one is going to, is going to act like crazy, but again, a preset, you have to use it locally. So you see, some preset makes everything very pink. Uh, I'm just going to lower the highlights on this one because I just want to get, see if I can get some pink back in the sky. So I'm going to take a brush again and, uh, and I'm going to paint a little bit, just a little bit, 
in this cloud because there was some pink that I originally had that I kind of lost. So I'm just getting uh, back at that. So you see, you're just doing adjustment by adjustment on this photo. And, uh, and you know, it's not, it, it's impressive, but it's not like crazy contrasty, you know, super hello. It just, it really feels how it was when I was there, you know. And um, I think I want to work on the sky a little bit more. So I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. And on this adjustment layer, I think I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go back to start here. So that's going to be the preset just for this uh, uh, adjustment layer. And on this one, I'm going to use the curve to lower a little bit the sky. And you see, it's as you use preset on top of, pre sorry, looks on top of looks, it can look crazy. Okay, so I'm just going to lower that. And um, then I'm going to go here and I'm going to take oops, a graded mask, click and drag. And now this whole adjustment is only going to be used to the top of the sky here. And that's it. So check it out. This adjustment is only for the top of the sky. So basically what I advise you to do is we'll play around with these little looks, but use them locally. Don't use them globally. I show you again uh, the before and after. There's a lot of behind the hood uh, things that have been done with this uh you know, with, with this software. I think it's a little too saturated in the blues now. So I can add a new adjustment layer, reset it all, and I can go here and I can go into, for example, the UN saturation and just, you know, lower the saturation of the warm colors just a little bit to make it more natural. I don't want the blue to be too crazy either. Uh, you know, so that's, you know, how to achieve uh, natural. I think it's a little too much steel on saturation, so I'm going to lower the saturation. I mean, I love very saturated photo, but if you want to go much less in saturation, you can. You can go crazy. You can go like this. I probably would go like this because I have observed that very saturated photo do better on social media. But if you work with gallery and you want to go more natural, you can just lower the saturation, and you're good to go. Voila. Check it out. Um, you can get uh, the, uh, for a limited time only, for $49, you can get this upgrade. You just have to enter, uh, uh, you have to click on the link below this video. And you're going to get, if you use the pre-order, you're going to get a whole series of tutorials by my good friend Trey Ratcliffe. You're going to get a handbook by Davin Johnson, uh, some new preset by Richard Harrington, uh, some burning moods, uh, lots by Richard Harrington three months to 500 px pro membership and 300 dollars off a multi-day iceland photo tour if you use the link below uh, so pre-order the software now you will love it it's the best hdr software i use let me show you show you one more time i'm gonna go full screen before after before after yeah i love it i love it